Holly Winter. You might know me from this, 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 and this from the Psych2Go YouTube channel. If you haven't seen them yet, go see them. Since my videos are quite different to some of the other awesome contributors on this channel, I've been asked to show a bit of behind the scenes on how I make my videos. My first educational song experiment was to help me revise in biology in year 11 last year. I wrote two songs about classification of invertebrates and vertebrates. And they're uploaded on my personal channel and I found that really helped me revise because songs are quite memory based. Ooh, that's an idea for later, I'll write that down. I also studied psychology this year in year 12 and I just had my final exam. And taking up this opportunity on this channel sounded like the perfect idea for me to have a creative outlet whilst revising and also to help others revise and learn something new. Steps to creating a thing. Finding a topic for the thing. For my first few, I had a squiz around the Psych2Go website for any articles that would translate easily to song. I tend to find lists and lighter topics to work best for me. And now with Psych2Go's new magazine, great job Teresa and the team, I may find some material there. More recently, as my exam revision piled up, I chose topics that I was studying to focus on, like sleep and stress. This helped me revise, helped my friends revise, and I hope they entertained and educated you. Writing the thing. Depending on the topic, this can take a while. I don't really know exactly how long since I do it in little chunks, and time ceases to exist while I do so. Chord progressions, melody, wordplay, rhymes, I love it, but I do get stuck sometimes. I'm usually quite a pen and paper person, but when it comes to writing things, I tend to just do it on my Apple Notes on my phone. Um, don't know why, maybe I should get a notebook for that. I'll write that down in my Apple Notes. A skit for the thing. Sometimes it comes to me while I'm writing the song, sometimes before, so the lyrics fit the skit. Usually it's like two seconds anyway. Recording the thing. Using GarageBand and a trusty iPad, I put the things together. Sometimes I like to spice it up with a few electronic instruments too, and it's lots of fun to do that, I find. Oh, fake instruments. Ah. Filming and editing the thing. Combined, this is the longest process, especially when you have three of yourself in one frame. <sighs> Mouthing over the top of the song I recorded is actually quite tricky sometimes. Finally. Sleep. And I have to wait for the opportune moment to film without any interruptions. Oh God, you scared me, man. So God is walking in. I know. It's pretty quiet. Then slicing it all together using Final Cut Pro, then to YouTube. And that's the process, really. But things don't go smoothly all the time. <laughs> this I just realized um, when I've just shot a scene or just shot something and I come to turn the camera off I always make weird noises so uh, here's a little montage of that I've 
I was gonna put some bloopers and behind the scenes things from my first video, which was semantic sedation. Which I can't seem to find it. I'll try to find them, but I don't think I'll be able to find them. So I hope that was interesting for you. If you'd like any area of psychology transformed into a song, uh, let me know on here or my personal linky things. You know where to find them, I'm sure. See you soon because I just finished school and I'm really happy and I have more time on my hands and I can do things now, yes. Mm.